How's it going? All right. Uh, I'm very excited to let you know about this thing that just came out. Uh, it's Pro Tools version 2021.3, and this is directly connected to every MIDI related exercise that we're going to do in this class. It's crazy because we were just talking about um, how you can only do these exercises if you had a MIDI keyboard. Well, it turns out you don't need one anymore if you download the latest Pro Tools update and if you have virtual instruments installed. So I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. So in order to get this update, you need to actually download 2021.3 version of Pro Tools uh, through your Avid account. Now, if you've downloaded Pro Tools, you have an Avid account. There's no way you could have downloaded it without setting up an Avid account. It just won't let you do that. So you have one already. So it's up to you to sign into your Avid account to get to the page that you're seeing on the screen right now. Um, this is your account screen. And right here it says my products. And you're going to want to view my products. Now, if you're bar borrowing a PC laptop from school, um, if this is the spring 2021 class, uh, you won't be able to download the update. But anything after that, you should this should already be on the system, so you will not have to um, go through this step. Okay, so once you sign into your Avid account, you click on View My Products. Uh, this is my particular account screen. Yours won't look like this. Everyone else, everyone's will look different depending on what products they have. I have a lot of Avid products, apparently. So um, you would want to go down to Pro Tools or Pro Tools Ultimate, whichever one shows up on your screen. You click on that and then it'll tell you whether you have a 30 day subscription, a trial, uh, whatever the case may be. I have a one year subscription. And then here it says view software download links. This is where you get the latest, uh, latest update. Boom. Okay. So I, I'm going to make this a little bigger. There we go. Oop. Let's do this again. There we go. Okay, so I'm on a Mac, so I would download this right here, uh, Pro Tools 2021.3 Installer. If you're on a PC, um, let's see, you would click on here where it says Win for Windows, and then you see the Windows versions of everything. Um, I believe most of you who have downloaded this are on a Mac. I know a couple of you are on PCs, so it's just click on Mac or Windows to get the correct downloads for what you want. So download the installer, and uh, anything that says 2021.3, you also want to download, like the HD driver, um, the, the README, it just lets you know what's new and exciting in this version, um, and um, any Pro Tools drivers you want to, um, if you know which versions you have, and they're these versions, you do not need to re-download them. But if you're unsure, just go ahead and download these drivers and uh, just reinstall them. And then for those of you that don't have virtual instruments installed, you want to pay attention to this. Um, you want to use things like Expand, Grand Piano, DB33, the virtual um, sort of church organ, and the analog synthesizer. Like, There's so much cool stuff in there. Uh, but you need to download them first if they're not on your computer already. So anything that says instruments bundle or instruments, you want to download. In this case, right here, first to air instruments bundle, uh, and then first to air instruments. And then you also want to download expand. These three, three things right here you definitely want to download and install on your computer. These will give you the virtual instruments that will work with the virtual MIDI keyboard so you can, can complete the Pro Tools exercises in this class. If, these, if you don't have any virtual instruments on your computer, then that means these were not downloaded and installed and you need to do that. Now, while you're here, if I were you, I would just go ahead and download a few other things too such as the first air effects bundle and the avid complete plugin bundle this um these are not virtual instruments instead they're like effects like eq reverb delay things like that 
just go ahead and download that while you're here. But the primary reason we're here, like I said, is to get the MIDI related virtual instruments. And these are what you want to get. Anything that says air instruments and or expand. And that will give you what you need. Download this, like I said, and then the updated Pro Tools, and then anything else that um, that says 2021.3 or is the same version as what's here, um, along with these drivers. Download them, install them all just one by one. You know, it'll take, you know, depending on how fast your internet connection and your computer is, uh, just give yourself an hour. It'll probably just be a half hour though uh, to do all this and you'll be good to go. Once you do that, um, then restart Pro Tools. I luckily already have it here. And check this out. This is how you get it working. So first, remember MIDI works with what we call instrument tracks. Instrument tracks are tracks that allow you to record MIDI to them and then assign a virtual instrument. So remember MIDI is just audio data. It doesn't sound like anything. It's just literally bits, ones and zeros. It has no sound. And you need to attach an instrument to it. Maybe you want it to be a piano. Maybe you want it to be a saxophone. Maybe you want it to be drums. Um, it's totally limitless depending on the, what plugins you have. Um, so in this case, let's make it sound like a piano. First, go up to track, down to new, then down to instrument track. And you know what? Let's make it stereo. Stereo instrument track. And we will call this uh, piano. Create. Here we go. Here is our new stereo instrument track. So next thing we want to do is go up to our edit window view selector click on that we want to see the inserts uh i also like to see the sends and i like to see the input output um all those things are up there so inserts this is where we insert a virtual instrument right now this is a uh this is a blank instrument track that's just waiting for us to record something. Um, so we need to go up here to inserts, down to multi-channel plugin, down to instrument. And if you've installed these plugins that I told, that I just showed you on the Avid Account so, uh, website, you should have some, if not all of these. So let's go to mini grand. This is sort of the standard piano virtual instrument. You click on this. Boop. And now we have a virtual grand piano. All right. Sounds okay. Um, then let's go up to window down to MIDI keyboard. This is the new virtual MIDI keyboard that is in this update and all updates after this of Pro Tools. It was not here before 2021.3. Click on that. And now you have a one octave keyboard. For those of you who uh, know a little about music, these are these are eight keys, um, eight, and eight notes make up an octave. And so, if we click on them, it'll be like this. And this has to do with velocity, which um, you know we, we'll get into a little bit later when we talk about MIDI. That has to do with how hard you hit the keys. So a, like a high velocity is a, like a really strong uh, and a low velocity is a very soft touch of the keys. Um, yes, whoa, we can go way up and down. That's interesting. Okay, we can also bring the octaves up and down. So this can sound like this. So now we're going to record. So remember what we do, you want to first record, enable your track. And then you want to go up to your transport window, record, enable it up there, and then 
hit the play button to start recording and watch what happens. See, there's nothing there right now, right? Now let's start hitting some keys. See that? And now, we play it back and it's a grand piano. And what we learned about MIDI is this plugin, oops, we could change this. Here it says MIDI Grand. We click on this, go back to instrument. Maybe I want this to be a DB33 um, cool um, sort of church organ type of thing. So let's play it. Let's listen to that. You get the idea. Or let's make this a cool analog synth known as the vacuum virtual instrument. So it's, see, it's still utilizing all the notes we played, but it's just changing what instrument is being is attached to those notes. So And what's cool is now we have the vacuum ins virtual instrument inserted into the track, correct? So let's record another bit here. Now, when I record, you think it's gonna sound like a grand piano when I'm actually recording and hitting these notes? Nope, it's gonna sound like the virtual instrument that is, it, that is inserted into the track. And just like I did before, if I want to change that to something else, I can. I haven't really messed with, oh, here we go. Here's expand. This one is super cool because if there's all these presets for different types of bells, different types of guitars, different types of organs different types of like poly synths, different types of uh, brass instruments. It's, 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 it's limited. Here, here, here we go. Here's baritone sax. What the heck does that sound like with what we just did? Sounds a little artificial. Some of these do sound artificial, but there's all these different parameters in here that you can play with to make it sound a little more realistic or even more artificial. It's pretty cool. So anyway, just wanted to show that to you. Uh, we no longer need an actual um, MIDI keyboard hardware, no physical device. We, it's all here in version 2021. Point three and later of Pro Tools, the virtual MIDI keyboard. So if you want to continue doing the MIDI assignments in class, make sure you have this version or later installed. Make sure you have virtual instruments installed and you'll be able to do these exercises no problem.